All right, it's been a long time since I've actually done a video on my window manager. It's been like over a year and people are doing these videos all the time. Why am I not doing them? All right, I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be a showcase of my window manager, all the fancy binds that I have. Of course, every single key on this keyboard is bound to something because it's all about minimizing the difference between mind and matter. Every single thing, every little operation you want to do should be a little key press. If you're doing it often, why not just bind it to a key? That's my, I, I'm, I'm sorry, that's just my way of thinking about it. So anyway, nowadays, what's the big difference? The big difference is now I've been using DWM. I've been using it for a year. I love DWM. Um, so I want to talk about my configuration of it, which if you use my config of i3, all the stuff in i3 is in my build of DWM, just some extra stuff as well. Okay, so at a basic level, let's say you just turn on, you don't know what any of these DWM, you don't know what any of this stuff is. At a basic level, this is a tiling window manager. What that means is if I bring up windows, if I bring up terminal windows with uh, super enter or whatever, um, they are automatically tiled so that you can see them all on your workspace. Of course, you have multiple workspaces. I'm on workspace one right now, or really it's a tag. Maybe I'll talk, I'll, I will talk about that later, but you can go to different workspaces, you know, one, two, doesn't matter, all the way to, through nine, okay? Um, so you can have different workspaces, but on a particular workspace, you can see everything that's going on. You can have terminal windows, you can have br your browser. I have my browser bound to uh, Super W for web, I guess. Uh, so that is nice to have. Um, so all the, the major programs I have are bound to keys, and of course, all of them are gonna be tiled, so it's very nice when you're looking at them, uh, when you're doing, you know, let's say you're doing some work in one window and, uh, you know, are looking at other things in the other window that you need. All right, so what's the big thing about DWM? Now, DWM is based on a stack. Uh, what I mean by that is windows in DWM are ordered by prominence. So let's say I, I'm gonna just bring some random programs up, okay? Uh, I don't know, well, well, we'll do the classic of modifying the config for DWM in the DWM video. So let's say I'm working on something here. Um, the, the idea behind DWM is windows should be ordered based on how important they are to you. So this window on the left is the one that I most recently spawned, I've wrote, most recently been modifying. It is gonna be biggest, where it's called the master window. All the windows on the right, which you can cycle through, notice that I'm cycling through my windows uh, with J and K. Um, but all the windows on the right, they're gonna be slave windows, okay? So they're gonna be less prominent, they're gonna be less visible, that's why they are a little smaller. Now at any point in time, I can say, okay, well I have this um, audio controller highlighted. I can press um, super and space to bring it to the most prominent position, or super space to switch it, at, you know, the, the most prominent window and the one right behind it. Um, so that is a nice, that, that's basically the idea behind it. So you're gonna be moving, you know, let's say the, take the example of my webcam. Let's say I want that to be prominent. I press space, it goes to the top and everything else gets moved down in the stack. Okay, this sounds a little obscure and arbitrary. And if you're an i3 user, you're like, oh, this is confusing. Like, oh, it's so complicated. Okay, no, just try it. Just try it in real life because this is actually exactly the layout that is most useful when you're actually doing stuff because the, the, the window that you're using is automatically most visible and then windows are more or less ordered in which ones you've edited recently. That's the nice thing about it, okay? Now, if you don't like the default layout, the great thing about DWM is it comes with multiple layouts that you can easily add, okay? So this is the default layout. It's bound to Super T, but it's the one that comes out by default. If I press Super Shift T, here's an alternate layout where the master window is still on top or well, it's still on, and now it's on top, and the slave windows are on the bottom. You can still cycle through these windows, do the exact same thing. You can bring one to prominence or whatever, um, but uh, the, the only difference is the layout, okay? Or there's the Fibonacci layout, where instead, you know, all of these, they, um, they spiral, so that less important windows are very small, uh, very important windows are very big, uh, or so that's Y, Super Y is Dwindle, I think is what this one's called. Uh, so you have different layouts for your different settings, and I should be clear, let me bring my face to most prominent position. All of my layout bindings, I like binding to like, uh, I think it's T, Y, U, I, all of them are right next to each other, okay? I just like them being very memorable. So there's tiling, um, Fibonacci, uh, there's also, uh, I forget what this one's called, I, I don't know, but it's like the master on one side, all the other windows are sort of stacked on top of each other. So you can go through them, you can press V to return to the master window. 
Um, and so all of the, it's like for them to take up less room. Uh, or Centered Master, another favorite, where you have the master window in the middle and all the other windows are on the side. So all of these keys, you know, T, U, T, Y, U, I, they're all bound to different layouts. And if you hold down shift, there are slight alternatives. So here's floating centered master as opposed, you know, it's I versus super I. So that's how DWM works. Um, and again, all of these, even if they look like they're not in an order, if you key through them with J and K, you will see that you're actually going through them in the order of which one you, you know, made prominent most recently, okay? And that's the nice thing about DWM. It might sound very obscure at the beginning. It might sound very alien if you're an i3 user, but I guarantee you once you use this in real life, uh, like to actually do stuff, you're like, wow, this is so much more efficient. It's, I seem so, it seems so silly to like manually configure where your windows are going, like manually say, oh, I want it to the left or to the right. It just seems pointless. Now, of course, in addition to all this layout stuff, you do have things, um, you know, for example, you have full screen, you know, that's super F on my build. Or if you press super shift F, actually, even before I talk about that, uh, in just in the default tiling layout, I can take any window, you can click, you can actually click, and clicking is very nice in DWM. Uh, you don't always have to use your keyboards. Um, but if I hold down shift and I left click this window, I can actually drag it around. Um, so it's actually, you don't have to, you know, grab it by like the title bar and move it around just any part on it, as long as you're holding down the super key. And if you're holding down the super key and press right click, you can actually just resize a window. Okay. No matter what window it is, that can go for any window. You can just pull them out of the, the tiling arrangement. You can return them to the tiling arrangement with super shift, uh, space on my build. Um, now additionally, as I said, there is super shift F. If I press that, it doesn't seem to have done anything, but now what has happened is basically every window is now floating, okay? You're in floating mode, and if I start a new window, it's gonna appear here, right? So this is floating mode, every window is floating, you can move them all around, so it's really just like a, a normie workspace, and you know, I don't know, just like, just like Windows, if you want Windows. But at any time, you can just press, okay, I want a tiling layout, bam, everything's back to normal. Wow, that's nice. That is nice and convenient. Um, so that, that's, that's how layouts work. Okay. So that is, uh, oh, and to be clear, so, um, again, go through windows with J and K. Um, also, so you might wonder now, this isn't like I3 where you're like moving over to a window using Vim keys or pseudo Vim keys, um, with H, J, K, L. You just need J and K, uh, or yeah, J and K. So what do H and L do? Well, they actually increase the size that the master takes up. So here, the master window, if you press H, it'll get smaller, L, it'll get bigger, and that'll be the case for any other layout, okay? I can go to any other layout and it'll change it. Now, the patch I'm using for this is uh, Vanity Gaps. Um, it's, it's very nice because it adds in an option of having all these different layouts and actually a lot more layouts that I'm not using. There are so many layouts to choose from. Uh, I only use the ones that I, I think are, are most effective. Um, but Vanity Gaps adds in the ability to, you know, change all of these layouts like that. And of course, as its name suggests, manage gaps. So by default, DWM has no gaps. I can toggle my gaps with A. Um, I can increase them with Z, decrease them with X. That's usually how I have it arranged or return to the, the uh, default gaps with Super Shift A. Um, that's just really nice. I like having those bindings as well um, because there is occasionally you know, something you need a little more padding to, to be able to see it, uh, to make sense of it better. So you want more gaps or there's some things you just got to see at a, a certain size. So you, uh, you know, you, you, you just want, don't want to have your gaps. You can also get rid of the bar as well with B. Um, so anyway, those are some default binds. Now I have all the programs I use on a daily basis bound to different keys. So let's say, I, I think I already brought up my web browser. That's super W, uh, that'll bring that up. It's taking a long time because I think because I'm doing the recording. I think that's it. Usually it pops up pretty quick. Um, so additionally, I have Ranger. That's Super R. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned, but you know, Super Q is get rid of a window. Maybe I should have said that earlier. I, maybe I did say that. I don't know. But Super Q gets rid of a window. Anyway, Super R is the file manager, which is LF. I don't use Ranger anymore. Uh, I haven't used Ranger in a while, actually. LF is still sort of in development. There are some things they haven't added, but I, I just vastly prefer it. Um, it's easier to do like shell scripting and stuff in it, stuff in it, and it's actually a good bit faster than Ranger. Uh, it's written in Go um, rather than Python. 
Uh, and I have some other, uh, I want to say I have note taking bound to super in. I also have email bound to super E and newsboat RSS reader bound to super shift in. I don't think I'll bring those up. I don't know. They might have sensitive information. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Um, D menu is super D. So you can type in any command. I don't know, brave, uh, bring brave up. Cause why not? I, even though I already have a binding for that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I, actually I should just say, I actually have a readme. Not just, you know, well, I have, you know, man DWM built into my build, which I think I, I'm pretty much keeping this up to date. Um, but more importantly, I actually have, if you press super F1, it brings up the LARBs readme. And this is now built into DWM if you want to, if you, well, you need like Zathura installed because basically just auto compiles a graph document, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't know who cares. In gives it to Zathura. Um, but anyway, so you can actually just read, if you download my uh, dot files and stuff, you can actually just read, oh look, all the stuff I'm telling you right here is right here. Let's see if there's anything I, I've missed. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, sticky windows. So let's say, you know, if I go to different tags, of course they're not gonna have anything's on anything on them. But let's say I go to my webcam and I press super S, now it's sticky, so wherever I go, it's gonna follow me. Very nice, okay? Or if I wanna unsticky it, bam, it disappeared. Where did it go? Well, it's back on its home workspace on number one. Um, or ta Oh yeah, it, although it's not technically a workspace, it's technically a tag. Uh, so to be clear, there's a difference between that. Let's say I, I go to three here. Let's say I say, you know, this is on tag three, okay? So this window here is on tag three. Now I'm on tag one. One of the, the nice thing about tags is you can go up, let's say I right click on tag three. Well, now the content on tag three is now visible to me. I have two tags active. I have tag one and tag three. Both of them are visible. So you can view multiple tags at the same time. That's the thing that makes them better than workspaces. Okay. Um, so there's that and uh, something else I was gonna say with tags, probably very important. Um, anyway, I have a whole bunch of stuff bound to um, keys. So backspace is quit out. Well, okay, it actually gives you a menu if you wanna lock the screen, leave DWM and log out, uh, refresh DWM if you make some change to the source code and recompile it, hibernate, reboot, shut down, stuff like that. Um, and there are a bunch of different other things. Uh, oh, I also have like a whole bunch of audio controls. Uh, so I'm gonna make this black because you know, it just looks looks a little better. So I have a music player, of course, so I can play music. You know, Let's play some classical music. So that's play, playing an MP, MPD. I can increase volume with uh, plus, decrease it with minus. So you, you can probably hear that. Hopefully this isn't copy, copyrighted. I think it's old enough. Uh, let me turn that down. Um, but you can go to the next track with period. Previous track with uh, comma or whatever. So all the binds you usually use, or pause with a P. Um, so all the binds you usually use, they're gonna, they have bindings built into DWM. Uh, let's see. And the thing I'm using right now, recording a screen, uh, or recording a screencast, um, it actually has a bind for that as well. Just, uh, uh, super plus, plus, uh, print screen. I call super mod in this manual. I don't know why I call it that. Uh, anyway. Um, so anyway, but I should say a lot of the stuff in this manual is, um, it's not just stuff in my DWM build, it's stuff in my, uh, my dot files. So a lot of the scripts and things like that, let's say, you know, the ability to mount a drive with F9, that's a script in my dot files uh, that you'll need, it, DWM will look for, but you need, of course, that script to work. So it's best to have my dot files and my, more importantly, my path folder or the, the, my scripts folder. Um, okay, so I think, I wanna say that that's about it. I don't know, I really enjoy using DWM, it has, 100% of the things that I liked in i3. Oh, and I guess another thing people ask about is uh, like drop down terminals or like, um, you know, scratch pads. So here's a, you know, here's a scratch pad. So you can hide that. That's super shift enter. Uh, I can go somewhere else, bring it back up. You just sort of hide it. I think I have another thing of um, a BC calculator. So let's say, you know, I can just do math, something like that, hide it. That's a super uh, quotation mark or yeah, whatever, yeah, what that's what it is, apostrophe, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, I, don't, I, I feel like that's a good rendition of the kind of stuff I've added in. Uh, again, has basically everything of, oh yeah, this is what I, do, what I want to do the next video on, the status bar up here, okay? Because now I have, 
Uh, you can actually, uh, actually what I just did, not only is my status bar clickable in DWM, but you can uh, shift click things to edit the scripts directly uh, and do stuff like that. So I think I'll talk about my status bar in another video, but I think that's enough for one. I feel like I've been rambling for a while. I actually took an, a, another take of this video, so I don't know what I've said or not said in this one, so hopefully I got everything. Uh, anyway, I encourage you to try it. The links are in the description to my build. Um, yeah, install LARBs, go to larbs.xyz, um, see you next time.